breaking our news this morning. Police are investigating death threats against one of our country's most well-known ambassadors. Authorities say a person speaking English made several threatening calls about Caroline Kennedy to the American Embassy in Tokyo. Reports of the threats against the daughter of late President John F. Kennedy surfaced just hours before First Lady Michelle Obama arrived in Japan this morning for her first visit to the country. Two weeks ago, the U.S. ambassador to South Korea was stabbed multiple times in an attack, but he's now recovering from his injuries. And Kraft Food wants you to check your pantry. The company is recalling millions of boxes of mac and cheese because they may contain small pieces of metal. The boxes are marked with the code C2 and have best when used by dates from September 18th to October 11th. Fortunately, though, no injuries have been reported. We've got more information about what to do if you have one of those boxes in, your, in our website, newschannel5.com. And a former PE teacher is behind bars this morning, accused of sexually assaulting one of her middle school students. Shelly Brown, who taught at Goodlesville Middle School, is facing two charges of sat statutory rape. Police say she had sex with a 14-year-old boy who was in her class. She's been the center of an investigation since last October when DCS alerted police after getting an anonymous tip. She was placed on administrative leave in October and has since been suspended. And legislation to create a school voucher program here in Tennessee is headed for a vote on the Senate floor. The measure was approved yesterday. The program would pay for a student's tuition at a qualifying private school. It would be open to low-income kids in districts that have an as school, a school in the bottom 5%. We'll keep you posted on what happens.